So this is another important stroke. This is the C stroke. And we use it, like many strokes, we use it in a variety of ways. We can use it as a one-off to get the boat going in a straight line. Because remember, as we do our power stroke to start our boat, the front of the boat is going to try and turn away from the paddle. And one of the ways of doing this is to put a little bit of a pull in at the start. We can pull in just by doing a straight draw stroke, turn it into a power, turn it into a J stroke. That will get us going. In shallow water, I will do that. But the C stroke is more subtle. And it is exactly what it says on the package. I'm going to start out here and then I'm going to take the paddle in a C shape and it's going to go under the boat. The legs are in the way here and it will continue and come out as a J stroke. So let's look at that again. We we'll start at the front but instead of just pulling in at the front we actually curve the paddle in and under the boat and into a C stroke, into a C shape. And having looked at it as part of an arc, so a continuous series of sea strokes, in this example there was one sea stroke and then immediately into St. Gals. Again here, one sea stroke and now into an ordinary forward stroke with a J to finish. In under the boat. C stroke again, off into a J. And one last time. A little tuck under the boat, hold the J for a moment, into a regular J stroke. So we'll get a bit of forward speed up here and instead of going straight into the sea, a bit of a bow rudder or dufek stroke at the front before pulling it in and under the boat to make that classic C shape continue the power through the turn. Back into the straight. A little extra J there to start the turn there with a little bow rudder and into C and then recovering it as an Indian stroke. So at this stage we begin to combine everything. So there's a bow rudder come dufek at the start and then into the sea stroke but the recovery is very much an Indian style recovery slice through the water and then back into the sea stroke. Again, a little bit of forward speed up again for a turn. There's the bow rudder dufek stroke. Nice little tuck under the boat and again. So using it, you can see that nice curving trail behind the boat. This is the Piranha Avon. A lot of rocker on it and I'm kneeling over to the side. So it actually turns remarkably easy. Uh, the, the actual trick is to control the, the turn so it doesn't tighten up too much. Again, bit of speed coming into a turn. A little bit extra on the J at the back. Bow rudder, hold it for a moment, then in under the boat. And this time, Indian stro stroke style recovery to get it back to the front. Top hands ro rotating away we go again. Back into my prospector and this is much more cruising boat so it won't turn anywhere near as fast as the Avon and that was a one-off to get it going. Gain into that turn holding it at the front then in under and quite a steep J stroke right at the back there it needs quite a bit of kick to, to push the back around so making more of an effort to get the blade up on edge as it comes in under the boat and out. A 
a little bit of wind and the prospector here is a little harder to turn so actually starting the turn with a stern rudder and then into that bow stroke before going into the sea. If you've enjoyed this video, please click on the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, please click on the icon in the bottom right corner.